What's going on, Savages? Thanks for tapping in with Savage Studios. Much love, much respect every time. So, man, I put you guys out there to find the, the lovely Miss Isabel Garcia. And okay. we found her. We found her quick because she wasn't hiding. And uh, so she's here. She's here today. She's going to go ahead and reiterate what she went through to the best of uh, her ability. She's still, you know, she just got out not too long ago. She's on parole. So, you know, certain questions won't be asked. But any answer she's willing to give us, we appreciate it. Uh, Isabel, I thank you so much for coming on the channel. Much appreciated. So, but before we start, man, let's, let's, um, when, when, uh, when did she roll up? When did she, what, what time was this? What year was this? Okay, so I went to Chowchilla in 2018. I got sentenced in May. I got there, you know, days after, uh, weeks after. It was around June, in, in June. I will say about in June. You know, I had the accurate information of when it was on my page or when she got there, her admission date and everything. But yeah, it was uh, in June of 2018. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, so basically, how long had you been there before uh, Pearl rolled up? And I would say um, I was, it's on AR, which is reception, for those mm -hmm. who don't know, uh, probably like two weeks, three weeks. Okay, and straight up, what was her uh, what was her stilo like, man? What, what, what was her get down? You know, shit, rolling up with something like that. I've heard a few people comment saying that she was like uh, carrying the Bible around, crying all the time, or something like that. But then I've heard other stories. So, what was her stilo, man? You know, well, when she went in there, like I'm saying, for her charges and every, you know, what she what her charges were, she never showed any remorse. You know, she never looked, she walked, she was like a proud criminal. She walked with her head um, high, what kind, well, blew her coverage a little bit that she started stealing. She started stealing from her Sally's. Wow. This was in the day room, everybody's in the day room. And um, and then what happened? So then it was like around the same time. So then she gets questioned about her paperwork because what it is there, right? And, you know, in prison on AR, you, you're you watching an hour of TV. You're not, you know, you don't get to watch Netflix, you know, Honestly, we I didn't even know about the case, you know, but what happened is people from her county started saying that's her You know, she killed her baby. She blah 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 So at the same time that at the time at the day room, you know, people started pointing her out So then when the homegirl asked her for her paperwork, she goes, uh, oh, I'm here on child endangerment charges But uh, my boyfriend did it my boyfriend and then the homegirl's like, all right Well, we, I need your paperwork, you know, you're already you're already stealing you're already doing too much, you know And uh, we're not gonna I'm not gonna speak to this shit, you know, so, oh, so hold on uh, so hold on. So uh, it kind of cut my Wi-Fi kind of cut out a little bit earlier, but you were saying that basically what kind of blew her covers or put her on blast and drew attention to herself was that she started stealing. Yeah, that was her. That, yeah, that was like the first red flag. And then prison. Before you know, that, we, though, before that, though, she was kind of under the radar. She, no, yeah, was really, she, yeah, you know, I can't say I never seen her with a Bible or say, you know, because I wasn't in, in her in her unit. But, you know. It was nothing like the the way she is on, on Netflix, trying to look up or trying to you know fucking yeah. get in the yard. You know, I never ran into the bitch in the yard. You know, so yeah. she was about nothing. She wasn't kicking it. You know. Okay, so my bad. Sorry to cut you off. Let's go ahead and get to the uh, to the juicy part. Let's go. Where were you going? Let's pick up where you left off. Okay, so then, uh, so at the time, her Sally was saying our paperwork. She's mad. She's stealing my noodles. Blah blah blah. Boo doo boo. And then you know. So that right there, you know, not, nah, you know, she's going to get dealt with, you know, for stealing. Yeah, so top. then, yes, you know, off top, you know, that shit was not going to be fucking tolerated. And um, so then that happens. And then, um, and then what happened next? And then the CEO, that's when at the time, so when they asked her, we need your actual paperwork. Uh, so she's going to get it, but her people in her cell already had her paperwork. So then they lock it down. So at this point, only her cellmates know, like, this is what's going on, you know? How many cellmates? Uh, I think it's how um, get a few. Yeah, you get eight. It's up to, it could be up to eight, you know? Okay, okay. So then that happens. So then at that time, so then we go, we back, we lock it down, and, you know, the CEOs go around, and they pass out fucking, uh, the it's called ducats, little appointment things for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you know, they pass out the ducats, and when the south, uh, the, the CEO pulls, um, pops the doors to get the ducats, that's when the CEO uh, goes, oh, you sleep pretty good for having have killed your baby. So then that right there was like a big thing. That that right there, everybody like just scary. Like every, everybody shook like fucking pit bulls, dog. I, I'm gonna keep it 100. You know, yeah. everybody shook like fucking pit bulls. It didn't yeah. matter if you're black, white, whatever the fuck. It's like Off the top. sealed motherfucking confirming your motherfucking charges. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah. that happened. So then after that, it was wrapped. Then it, you know, it was child time. You know. So yeah, yeah, during, yeah. yeah. So for child time, um. You know, every everybody's like, you know, and who's gonna jump? Who's gonna do that? Everybody was like, I'm gonna get it. You know, 
Shout out to the homegirl Clumsy. Shout out to you know to Patsy and you know. Shout yeah. Out. Much respect to yeah. all you females out yeah. there that's just in the pen but still willing to smash on the home for the home for reckless, You know, the home for reckless. I'm gonna put you know from Florence, let's put her on the map, you know. Yeah. And um, so at this point everybody everybody's ready just you know to get in on it. So we're going to the the chow hall. So at this point everybody's like, you know, like fuck, you know, who when are we how are we gonna do this for our work? Fuck as soon as we get the fucking chance, you know? Yeah, 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 so, I'll yeah, so at this point, you know, everybody's going to, to chow, and um, it was uh, the homegirl Morena from White Fence. That's the one that, you know, that got her. You know, I think from my post, or I think I could retract. It probably wasn't a tuna thing, but it was an oyster thing. That, I don't know, but I okay. figured it was tuna because the homegirl was sending, you know, shit from o over the wall. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so then that happened, and this is like the attack, you know? The homegirl's behind her. Uh, pearls, uh, you know, go to child. She's getting her tray. Bitch had the part of the tray for a second, got fucking drop kick, and fucking boom, bitch. It, it, it was a wrap after that, you know. It was all and on at it. that point, yeah, you know, they just fucking they fucking dog fucking walk the bitch, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and you know, at this point, you know, everybody at the child hall, you know, they have a uh, hot water coffee for everybody. So yeah. everybody that had a cup that was get, you know, Ooh. she. Just, it, it, I, everybody and the the CEO just turned away I feel at that moment she she fucking life just humbled her right there like she realized she wasn't gonna hide she wasn't gonna be able to fucking run and, and nobody was gonna do shit for people who understand about the prison system you you know you know everybody says no that didn't happen she wouldn't be she would be PC'd up well I'll be the one to tell you she had the fucking nerve though that's that's the kind of person that she is with those fucking charges to, to think that she would be able to get classified to be able to think that she was going to roll up to GP you know that's that's the person that she is you know she got away with so much shit she's thinking she's going to pull this shit in prison nah nah that that's not the get down there you know so now let me ask you let me ask you um is that something that's normally done in the females institution? Uh, let's say like politics, like are you guys whacking every every child every child uh, killer out there on the line, or if they're basically low key, are they pretty much left low key? I'm gonna keep it 100. There's there are they are on the yard because unless you know there's people from your county that we, that were actually going through the court system with you while you're fighting your case through your sentencing and roll up and they're there then they're gonna pull your fucking card you know but you know you don't even know and you know who your sally is unless you're asking for the paperwork you know yeah they say in the women's prison they don't politics but everybody knows the rule and everybody sticks to you know to what what they should do you know yeah so when so she got happened. got when she got got man she basically so she got jumped she got spit on and all this stuff hot coffee and everything thrown on her got sliced up um uh -huh. after she gets all screwed up now what happens to her so okay well let's backtrack a little so during the attack the thing is it, it's funny like that day it was like um it was a day of like unity the ceo was like yeah, the homegirl was fucking I mean, there was like no, there was not five COs, four COs that were gonna take the homegirl offer because the homegirl was like, you know, getting it in. And the thing is, when the COs were shooting, the, I mean, it was the riot squad. You had anybody who was there in the fucking prison, you know, trying to, to stop it because it was ugly, you know? And, um, the, uh, not the homegirl, she wasn't getting fucking peppered, fucking, you know, spray, uh, with the pepper spray or the pepper bottle. It was it was Pearl. Pearl was fucking me, you know. And the bitch was never hitting her anything, but she was getting it, you know. That's right. So, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Damn. So, that's that's sick with it. Um. Yeah. So so I heard now she's basically like on, she's she's untouchable now. I heard now she's kind of like on walk on. So after that, she gets taken to the fucking the medical ward, right? She gets taken to the medical ward and throughout, you know, you see from the foot. I mean, it, it was bloody. It, it was. I can't tell you, you know. Um, oh, sh her face is like fucking, but I know that her face, she got it. You know, when we see that's it, right. right here, you know, her, it was blood fucking, I mean, that's all there was, her fucking blood, to the that's whole right. fucking trail, to the, to the man fucking, you know, thing. And, um, at this point she's there, you know, they fucking shut it down, whatever. And then after that, you know, she gets taken, um, she's with a fucking, you know, a spit mask on, you know, to cover her fat ass. I don't know 
what it was, you know, <laughs> the purpose of that bitch. We already know, you know. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. She gets taken to the to the shoe, so she's in the shoe right now, you know. Okay. And so, what do you what do you think is gonna be her her fate? Like, how long do you think she'll be there? And uh, will she be released back out to the to the line with the ladies again? You know, to be honest, I I I don't think she would. You know, I don't think so. So yeah. I don't think they're gonna allow that. So I think, um, you know, street justice was served. That's one thing I can tell you. You know, yeah, after right. seeing the whole documentary, you know, street there was street justice for him. You know, now she's in a style, probably you know a you know a, a little ass fucking style. The bitch does not see the sun, you know, unless she's getting a visit, and that's gonna be her fate, you know. And Chowchilla yeah. is an immigrant prison, so you know, I'm sure she gets served her little three hot meals, and I hope she enjoys them, you know. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Yeah. But uh, okay. So um, at the end of the day, that's I think that's a that's a that's amazing because when you said you saw this documentary, man, it really. It really, uh, it made you feel like, wow, you know, we got some justice, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you, were, I'm sure if you guys would have known about it, I'm sure if you guys would have known about it beforehand, you know, it would have been, it would have been a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. But uh, if there's something you could tell all the subscribers, because there's so many people, a lot of women, a lot of mothers, who have commented, and they're just really hurt by by the tragedy of what took place. You know, like it, it's kind of a case, even for me, that like it almost kind of jades your heart for the rest of your life, just a little bit more than it was, you know, it's like, come on, I know I want to, I know I want to hear about nothing like that or see that. Mm -hmm. But um, if there's something you can say, man, just, just to offer a little bit of closure uh, or even to haters, man, or doubters or whatever, man, to maybe you could clear things up for them or whatever. I believe you. I'm telling all my subscribers, I believe it, man. I, I'm rocking mm -hmm. with it. I get behind it. I support it, man. I believe in it, but go ahead, man. If you got anything you want to let them all know. Like I'm saying, there, there's no glory to this, you know, because like I'm saying, she's still walking. I feel like, I, you know, I've been waiting, you know, after this, you know, having had witnessed it, watching the documentary, I feel like, you know, fuck, if we only would have fucking known the details because she, she, she had the, you know, oh, I'm innocent, you know, my boyfriend did it, you know, it was child neglect and, you know, I'm here for, you know, and everybody's saying that it's me, but I'm innocent, you know, I feel like, fuck, you know, if we would have had that documentary first, you know then yeah. it would it would have been different you know her face would have been in a fucking kitchen fire you know like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got, you know but yeah. i think the whole the more the uh, uh the the justice that there it's like you know when they got at her they weren't trying to shank her nobody was trying to fucking take her out you know everybody wanted to make an example out of her you know that's yeah, just right. not going to be tolerated you know it's not going to be tolerated and she's going to be a walking mark of it you know yeah and, and that's how i feel about it all right. Well, hey, I want to say thank you so much, uh, Isabel, for coming on my channel. Um, I never meant to offend you or anything or call you out. No, no, no. I just wanted to put the pieces to the story together. I really appreciate you uh, touching on the topic. I'm sure everyone's going to be happy to hear about this. They mm -hmm. all been bugging me, going crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, you don't understand how many, like, I mean, thousands, I'm not, you know, I'm not putting them, you know, like, people, like he's looking for you. Well, when you tell me somebody's looking for me, and, you know, if I'm going to post something, like, you know, I'm an easy kill, dog. Like, you you know what I mean? I'm right here, you know? Yeah, yeah, so I'm right. not going to post something and go ghost. Like, I stand by what I said. I stand by my word for everybody wanting to know whether it was a tuna. I retract on that, but she got that, you know? Shout yeah. out to the Hongo Morena, Angel, Mo you know, Medina. She's still the one, you know, in the you know i'm not sure if she's still in the shoe because of the added charges but you know we understand that, that okay you said you said her name is angel medina correct you don't happen to know her booking number do you yeah i don't have the her i don't i have it okay. on my page but i don't know it by heart you know and that okay. shit's not going to be you know i just want to let the message out it's not going to be tolerated there's women in prison you know hustling and they're doing what they got to do to send money out to their kids you know women fighting you know for cases that they are innocent you feel me you know, I yeah. haven't seen their kids and then for, you know, a bitch to do that to her, like the torture part, that's what fucking, like, nah, you know? All of it was, all of it was pretty fucked up. I was saying, and but, I uh, get no glory, I get nothing. I just want people to know, you know, it was a brutal attack she, and where she's at now, she never sees this done and, you know, and that's a little justice, you know? Hell yeah. And you know what? Straight up, just to close, man, much respect to Isabel, man. Much respect to you for, mm -hmm. for, uh, 
for coming right out. Like, hey, what's up, man? I stick behind what I said. I stand behind what I said. If you guys want to tweak on this word or that word or cry about this word or that word, that doesn't take away from the fact that it really happened. Anybody Correct. calling me a liar, you know, screw you. I like that. I respect that. That's some savage shit right there. Uh, mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you once again. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's always much love from Savage Nation. Much respect. Doses. Thank you. Okay.